Hey, man, what it is? This is Dean, and I am your host, and this is By Any Means. There go to Cash App, dollar sign, Dean By Any Means. There go to PayPal, at Dean By Any Means. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. I don't care if you leave a dollar, ten dollars, a thousand dollars. It's much, much, much appreciated. Hey, man, how the mighty have fallen, man. Ain't it sad? How y'all go from sending the contract to retirement? We got a lot to talk about. Now, Devin Haney got his zero back and still took a loss. I'm going to repeat that. Devin Haney got his zero back and still took a loss. I just want to know, y'all, should Tank send the contract to somebody that's retiring? Can you duck somebody that's retiring? I need to know. Is there is there any possibility to duck somebody that's retiring? How we go from two, three months ago, tanks in the contract, to now this man is retiring. So Devin Haney fans, I guess y'all owe me another apology, huh? I guess y'all owe me another apology, my guys. Because how you going to send a contract to somebody that's going to retire from the sport? I guess he ain't who he thought he was. They're not even willing to bid on that man fight. I thought y'all told me he was a draw. I thought we was comparing Devin and Tank. I thought y'all said we was hating on Devin, saying that he's not a draw. It's clear as day he's not because all the promotional companies have spoken, even the one that we, that he just did business with. Oscar De La Hoya didn't bid on his fight. Bob Arum, Bob Arum bid it on his fight. Eddie Hearn didn't do it. Al Heyman didn't do it. It's so sad. Look how the mighty have fallen. Devin got his O back and still took a loss. And then y'all lied about y'all purse. Y'all only got 1.1 million in purse. Y'all are the two biggest frauds in boxing. Y'all y'all do is lie. Y'all can't even be honest about your own career. Send a contract. Have y'all heard send a contract in two, three months? I guess you can't now. And Devin... You didn't even want to sign a long-term contract with Bob Arum, and he's, he offered you Tio Fimo Lopez. Let me find out you ducking Tio after everybody was saying that Tio ducked you to fight Lomachenko. I don't know how that worked, but okay. Tio ducked you. Remember all of this? But now you offer Tio. Why not take it now? That's that'll be your biggest money fight. What's the problem? You get beat up and you walk away from the sport. You a coward? How I thought you was. I knew you and your daddies was cowards. What you walking away from the sport for? Let me get this straight. You're you're talking about retiring after you got what you wanted. Ryan got suspended. You he got fined. You got money from the weigh in, and you got your zero back. And it was called a no contest. You got every single thing you wanted, Devin. What is the problem? Yo, oh, I know what the problem is. Devin knows he can't beat these other guys. Devin knows he has been exposed. I keep telling y'all that. Can you give me my credit? I've been telling y'all that. Everybody that was talking about send the contract, you owe Dame an apology. Because now they both available. Let me, last time I checked, but Devin ain't that available. He's not even entertaining fights. Devin can't even get a promotional company to believe in him enough to bid on a fight. Javante Davis and Sandra Martin wouldn't even go to purse bid. I'm going to say this again while y'all should stop comparing Devin Haney to Javante Davis. Javante Davis will never be in a purse bid. Javante Davis and Sandra Martin will be on pay-per-view. And it still do fairly well. That is the craziest part. Will be sold out and would do well. Around the 200 range. And that's just because nobody cares about Sandor Martin at, his, at, at all. But it definitely still probably do a 15, 16, 17 million dollar gate. Unfortunately. For Devin and Devin Haney fans. So you lied about the money that you was making. You said that you was the face of boxing. The face of, how you go from the face of boxing to retiring? Only person to do that was Muhammad Ali. And he was forced to go into retirement and come out of it. Because he was in prison. How you the face of boxing and, and talk about retiring for two years? How is Tank supposed to fight you if you're going to retire for two years? I need Devin and Devin Haney fans to answer this question. How? So I guess now Javante Davis is officially off the hook from Devin Haney. He has to be. Because like I told y'all, Javante can't make these dudes do nothing. Can't make them sign a contract. Can't make them 
um, oh yeah, concede, yeah, I got he gotta fight me at this weight class and all that. What Javante Davis really can't do is tell Devin he can't retire. Y'all going to sit there and let Devin Haney pull this off after as much as y'all ran y'all yaks, but won't come to content creators like me, won't go to knockout boxing, won't go to Fanon, won't go to manager Marty, won't go to Just Do, won't go to Crown Jewel, won't go to Upper Echelon and apologize. Because y'all called this Devin Haney haters. Y'all said that um uh, uh, we being biased in all of these things. That's what y'all said. I've heard y'all call my man Knockout bias and the Devin Haney hater at every live. I guess Knockout told Devin Haney to retire. I ain't know he had that much power. I guess Fanon told Devin Haney to retire. I ain't know he had that much power. Last time I checked, I ain't know that. Look how the mighty have fallen. And I told all of y'all, I predicted all of this. I told you when Devin take his L, y'all going to be nowhere to be found. Devin took his L, his fan base ran him under the rug. They threw him right under the bus. Devin is throwing himself under the bus. He got beat up, now he want to retire. It goes to show you his character because real dogs get it back in blood. Manny Pacquiao got knocked out in front of the world. The world, Craig. The world, Craig. Manny Pacquiao got face down. He got face planted in front of the world. He ain't retired. Take the coward way out. Devin wants y'all to feel bad for him. And I don't understand because he got everything he wants. You should think he should be ready to go. You should think in six months he should be ready to go. But Devin ain't built like that. And we have been telling y'all he not built like that. And his daddy not built like that. Who, who goes out like Devin and then you talk about retiring? Michael Jordan retired with a championship in the middle of his career. You can't retire on, on and, and, and the last thing we saw was you get beat up like that. Meanwhile, your biggest adversary, Shakur Stevens and Javante Davis, out here performing? I thought y'all told me Devin Haney was a star. Uh, um, uh, um, um, my man, woke sports man. I know you probably watching. What's up, woke? What's up, woke? Because when Javante, y'all got on Javante Davis, clowning him, talking about, yeah, he gonna get out of here after six, seven fights, eight fights. Y'all was clowning Javante Davis about him talking about retirement. Where is your tweet said about Devin Haney talking about retirement? After he got beat up, y'all was trying to clown Javante Davis about talking about retirement after he was he was winning his fights and devastating fashion. Devin Haney get beat up and you won't hear no criticism on him retiring. When Shakur Stevenson was talking about retiring, y'all was clowning him and running him through the ropes. Ain't that right, Jonathan and Joseph Jackson? Huh? Ain't that right, woke sports fan? Ain't that wasn't that y'all? Certain YouTube channels was calling Shakur Stevenson the the p word. Remember, is Devin the P word now? I need to know. He's doing the same thing. He's upset that don't nobody want to do business with him because he ain't a draw. Same way Shakur Stevenson was. Him and Shakur got the same problem. They want big fights. They want it on day turns, but they can't get it on day turns because ain't nobody willing to press that buy button to watch you fight. That is no, that's not Gervonta Davis' fault. People don't like to watch you fight. Devin Haney didn't have three pay-per-views back to back and they all have flopped. Because him and Lomachenko, as quiet as it's kept, should have done more than 145, 150,000. Look how the mighty has fallen. But y'all won't sit up here and give me an apology. Y'all owe a lot of content creators apology, and I'm, I shouted them out. Because, I look, man, I am Mr. Consistency. When I know somebody has been spreading a message and has been saying something that's consistent about some similar things I have said, I ain't going, I'm not going to sit up there and act like I was the only one saying it. No, we've all been telling y'all that this was going to happen. We all have been telling y'all that this was on the horizon. We saw the sun creeping up over the mountain just a little bit. We was trying to tell y'all the sun is going to be hot and sunny outside, but y'all wanted to say it was going to rain. Deal with it. It's okay. When you pray for sunshine, be prepared to deal with rain. When you pray for sunshine, be prepared to deal with rain. When you pray for rain, be prepared to deal with the mud. When you pray for rain, be prepared to deal with the mud. That's all I'm telling y'all. The mighty have fallen. What we have, what we found out, y'all, is Devin Haney's not built like that. 
What, what, what we else found out is that he is not a draw. What else we found out, you should never compare him to Javante Davis. What else we have found out is all the narratives, send the contract, wait, bully, go to 140 to be great, resume, and the last three to four months, we have exposed all of that not to be true. Who got the better resume now? Especially when Javante Davis fight Lomachenko in a couple months. Holla at your boy. I want to have a conversation. I'll debate any content creator about Devin Amy and um and Javante Davis resume in December. After he fight Lomachenko, we can have an argument with anybody about resumes now. I've been now I me personally, I am definitely the only content creator that was telling y'all he's never had a better um resume than Javante Davis. Everybody else ran with that. I never gave that to you because I know it's not true. And then now you're not even trying to fight Tio. Why you don't want to fight Tio? I thought I, I thought you. That's the one guy at 140. I actually think you got a good chance to beat because he's the he's just as much of a wild card as you are. The mighty have fallen. Who told y'all? I told y'all this was going to happen, Devin and Devin Haney fans. Now he's going to retire and be irrelevant for a year. So Devin Haney fans, I don't want to hear nothing from y'all until that man announces his next fight. He's irrelevant. It don't matter. He's retired. Y'all know what this is, right? We got plenty more coming today. I got too much to talk about. Y'all know what this is, right? Game by any means. And I holla at y'all.